The domes of the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station have been a fixture of the Southern California coast for decades. Leaks in the steam generator tubes force Southern California Edison to shut down the reactors. But the toxic legacy of the facility could remain for generations to come. The bad news is the fact that there's 35 years of nuclear waste. Nuclear expert Arnie Gunderson helped educate the public about the safety problems at the plant and explained what will happen to the waste inside of the reactors. In about five years, it will come out of the nuclear fuel pool, and it's stored in these things called dry casks, so it can be air-cooled. They'll go outside, and they'll sit outside for perhaps 40 or 50 years. And the big deal there is that there's no place to ship them. Congress and the Obama administration defunded a planned nuclear waste repository. Millions of pounds of radioactive material will stay at the San Onofre site. With no place to go, used nuclear fuel is held at dozens of temporary locations around the U.S. There are still safety concerns and lingering financial issues at the shutdown power plant. Utility company SoCal Edison has charged ratepayers hundreds of millions of dollars over the last year and a half without producing any energy at San Onofre. Decommissioning the plant could cost $3 billion. I mean, the steam generators were supposed to last um, 40 to 60 years, and they failed in less than two years. So we did not get our money's worth. So we should not have to pay for any of that. Donna Gilmore and 8 million other people live within 50 miles of the plant. The shutdown will force SoCal Edison to lay off more than 1,000 workers. Gilmore worries the managers at the plant will put profits over safety. I'm concerned that they're just cutting the numbers and not making sure they have the right people in the right place um, to, to manage that waste. Gunderson believes the shutdown is one of the most significant events in the history of nuclear energy. And the industry is very concerned that um, now that citizens realize that they can do it, there may be more citizen action to shut down more nuclear plants. Four nuclear plants have closed in the U.S. this year. In California, it will still be many more years before this scenic ocean front is nuclear free. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.